guys, I'm Piper Reese. Welcome to episode 42 of Piper's Picks TV. Is Neville here? No, Parker. Neville's not here. Whoa, I can't believe we're at number 42 already. If you've been following us on Twitter, you know who's going to be on today. So this episode's actually a little overdue. We've been holding it back because it's with someone really mean. Or should I say, evil. Neville's here? No, Parker. Neville is not here. So, it's the top of not eaten haberdashery lover who rues every encounter she has with Carly, Sam, and Freddy. The host of Nevelocity himself, Neville Pepperman. Or as we know him, the super cool, mega smart, non-evil genius behind Cool Bites, Reed Alexander. Neville's here? Yes, Parker. Neville's here. Yay! Let's check it out, yo. Piper Power! Boys and Goyles, I'm here with iCarly's master manipulator, the genius behind Nevelocity, who just can't pull off a kiss with Carly Shay. Well, at least his alter ego can't. Yep, it's Reed Alexander. Hi, Reed. Hi, Piper. Thanks for coming. How are you? Good. How are you? Thank you so much for doing the interview. I'm really excited to be here. I'm a big fan of your work, and I think we're going to have a lot of fun. So, Reed, Neville has all the brains to Nevelocity, but no mojo? What's the dealio? Well, you know, I think that Neville is really interesting because on the surface he's like this genius who thinks that he can dominate the world and everybody has to do what he wants. But when push comes to shove, oftentimes, despite his brilliance, Carly can outsmart him because he does have some weaknesses, like his mom. Uh, if Carly tells his mom on him, he totally panics. And he really can't kind of fight back to Carly exactly the way she can him. You've been in a bunch of episodes that all circle around Neville. Did you know he'd be a recurring character? Well, at the time, I didn't know, but um, I've been really lucky to be in lots of episodes, and I'm glad that Neville has been developed further. I've had so much fun with him, and um, I really enjoy playing Neville now. I'm glad that he came back. Awesome. I'm mm -hmm. glad that he came back, too. You deserve to be on TV, and that's oh, a funny character. Thank you so much. Well, You're um, I appreciate that. And I enjoy Neville because he's got a lot of sides to him that, for example, he can do you'll rue the day or he can be um, kind of like a lighthearted kid, which you've seen a few glimpses of like in the episode I, Neville. Is it easy being evil? Well, it's like easy and hard at the same time. It's a lot of fun and I enjoy being evil quite a bit because there's something exciting about being evil and trying to ruin someone's day. I know that sounds really weird, but... It's kind of fun. You know what one of my favorite part of the episode were with Neville? What's that? When they gave him a car, but he, right. he went like this and think, Carly like bit his finger. Miles an hour. Yeah. Carly bit his finger. Did that hurt? No. You know, Miranda did a really good job doing that. She's so nice and really thoughtful. It didn't hurt at all. It was good. fun, though. It, was, it came out really funny the way she did yeah, it. Yeah, that part was funny. Yeah. She went, unk. I know. It made me laugh. I want my website back had every cool character in the iCarly world. Were you all at the set all at the same time? Well, for the most part, yes. I mean, I would say that for the entire week, we were all really there at the set at the same time, which made me happy because I got to meet some of my favorite iCarly stars and guest stars. Who did you get to spend the most time with? I got to spend the most time, I'd say with everybody. It was nice because we all shared the schoolroom and we all talked at lunch, so it was a little bit of everyone. So um, it was a lot of fun, it was a great week. Awesome, I'm so glad you had fun. <laughs> Thanks. We know you've been in California since your last Neville episode. Can you spell the beans about any appearance uh, of Neville? Well, um, I was in LA, that's right, for the iCarly video games and some other cool stuff. I can't give too much away right now, but Here's a little hint. If you go to iCarly.com, you might see some fun stuff up there soon. Okay, Reed, we need some dirt here. 
Everyone at the iCarly set was so nice, but very tight-lipped. Can you tell us the dark side to Miranda, Jeanette, and Nathan? Ah, uh, there aren't too many dark sides to tell. Um, they're really great people. They're so much fun. They all have their own really unique talents. I can see we're not getting far here. Is Neville available for some questions? Well, yes, Neville is available, but I have to give you a warning. Neville can be quite unpredictable, really mean. Can you handle that? Yes. Okay. Okay, Neville, let's get to the bottom of this. Which are you really after, Carly or iCarly? You're asking me that? They're both disgusting and pathetic. Ridiculous. There's no either or. What's it like to get a wedgie from the military? I'd rather forget about that instance, if that's all right. Who's a better producer, you or Fredward? Is that even a question? Fredward is no producer. He calls himself a technical producer. He only knows how to move a camera. Ridiculous. I'm the only producer. That's foolish. <laughs> Do you think you have a better chance of ending up with Carly than Freddie does? Freddie doesn't have a chance. So the answer would be me. Excuse me a second. Who is that well-known anonymous informant? The world may never know. Well, actually, Neville, the well-known anonymous informant says we have a message for you and we need to get a response. Sounds suspicious. And just so you know, I don't elicit responses without a fee. But for you, I may make an exception. Just press play. Press play? Hey, Neville! <laughs> get it? Because you're evil. You better not mess with my BFFs, Carly, Sam, and Freddy anymore. You better watch your back, because Mandy's back with the quack quack! <laughs> I got my peeps watching you. Bye! <laughs> the lovely, obsessed Mandy. Maybe she should pick better friends. And just so you know, Mandy, don't threaten me. Who's standing in your way more, Freddy or Sam? Neither. I'll flatten them both. You've outsmarted Jeremy and Mandy, but Carly always seems to outsmart you. I guess you have a thing or two to learn about girls. I don't have anything to learn, and you do well not to enlighten me. Okay, Reed. You've been in a lot of shows, including one big, big show. Care to discuss? Absolutely. Well, um, a few years ago I was in Will and Grace, which was a show on NBC that was uh, really entertaining and a really great cast. I had a lot of fun doing that. And I've done some other stuff. I did something on Cartoon Network and uh, some movies, but I've had a lot of fun. What social media sites do you have? Well, at the moment, I only have an account on Twitter. It's at Reed Alexander, but I love Twitter. I follow you, and uh, it's fun. All right, Reed. Cooler, cuter questions. Are you ready? I'm ready. Who's cooler, Spencer or Jerry? Well, you know, Spencer's super funny, Jerry's super funny, Jerry's super cool, so... What makes you lie? I might have to go with both. They're both amazing. Who's cooter, Daniela Monet or Miranda Cosgrove? Yeah, you ask tough questions, but definitely to this one, they're both equally super cute. What's cooler, tapenade or pizza? Neville would say tapenade. I might say pizza, but for the sake of playing Neville, I'll go with tapenade. Who's cooter, Mandy or Aria? They're both really cute, just the same with uh, Miranda and Daniela, but um, Aria's got a really cool personality, so I will go with Aria. What's cooler, a haberdashery or a podcast? Definitely a podcast, especially if it's Piper's Picks. Thank you. <laughs> yeah. Who's cooter, Jeanette McCurdy or Sam Puckett? I think Jeanette. I think she's super cute. Sam is kind of gruff, and um, the cool part of it is that Jeanette can play Sam so perfectly. She's really talented. What's cooler, Nevelocity or iCarly? I have to go with iCarly. Sorry, Neville. I'd love to have people on, and you were just really nice. Thank you so much. Well, I feel the same way about you. I love your show, so it's exciting to be on it. So Reed is awesome. He's actually become a good friend in the Piper's Fix family. That's right, Mandy and Neville are actually really nice in real life. Ain't that a funny coinkydink? Yes, sir. As a matter of fact, Reed had me film answers to an interview for his site, CoolBytes.com. CoolBytes.com is an online site for kids to make healthy food. I'll link to it in the description. Team Piper, link to it in the description. So check out Reed's site. Anyway, so if you haven't seen Piper's Quick Picks yet, it's awesome. Piper's Quick Picks are mini Piper's Picks episodes from red carpets and other cool events. 
There's a link to Piper's Quick Fix at the top of the page at pipersfix.tv. Follow us on Twitter, find us on Facebook, and subscribe at pipersfix.tv. Catch us next time, Cheerio. Yo. How it's cool, yo. Can you go to the bathroom? Yes. No. Yes, no. I don't know. Follow us on Twitter, find us on Facebook, and subscribe. <laughs> you are this so much fun. This is my favorite part. I miss you, Piper. I miss you too, Brooke. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm it's like, okay. It's not your so fault slow. at all. It's, well, it's definitely not yours. You know what? It's both. Oh, it's mine. No. Oh my God, the hat's back. No, I'm not. Yes, you are. You're right there. Right when the ball goes up in. The... Team Piper, really? Team Piper. Team Piper, go make the brownies. Team Piper. <laughs> That's my favorite line. That was incredible. You'll rue the day if you miss one episode of Piper's Picks. You'll rue it.